Welcome to Tech with Amiru. In this video, we are going to learn about the switch activity in Azure Data Factory. The switch activity provides the same functionality that a switch statement provides in the programming language. It evaluates a set of activities corresponding to the case that matches the condition evaluation. Now, uh, that's the definition from the Microsoft, and what we are going to do, we are going to prove that and learn that in the Azure Data Factory how exactly switch activity works. So, now, what we are going to do, we are going to be in the uh, Azure Data Factory, we are going to create a new pipeline and I'm going to create some scenarios for you. So switch activity, right? So we are going to look for switch and then we are going to bring switch right there. Looking at the switch, uh, it is saying uh, switch has only one default, no activities here, but uh, you can uh, probably add uh, a lot of case statements here. Now think about a scenario where uh, um, we are providing uh, our file name from the trigger to our pipeline parameter. And then we are deciding uh, which part of the uh, activity we need to run. So there could be multiple activities. We are going to add that. Maybe in each of uh, we have a copy data. Maybe we have a, a delete file. Maybe we have something depending on the parameter value. So first of all, uh, let's uh, create a, a parameter. And uh, here uh, we are going to click on the canvas and then go to parameter. And uh, let's uh, call this one a p file. So in the p file, uh, what we can say, well, let's say if I will say if the file is a customer, and uh, that's uh, my, my customer name, then I'm gonna do one thing. I'm gonna go to switch, and inside that, uh, I'm gonna set up a copy activity that will uh, take this customer file and load to the customer table. Now, if I will go back here and let's say, oh, if my uh, parameter value is uh, product. So what I want to do, then I want to go to the other part of the uh, activities here and then run the uh, data load of your uh, copy activity for uh, uh, for the product. It read the product file and load to the product table. So there could tons of possibilities are there or you can make other decisions depending on the values. So now let's go here and here you see that in general you don't have to do a whole lot. You're going to provide uh, my switch demo. So whatever you know you have it it's going to come right here it's good to have give some uh, uh, reasonable name so it helps uh, you know understanding what exactly you are doing sometimes you do have a lot of switches you will have a lot of activities uh, and that uh, you it says switch one switch two it doesn't know, know what it is doing so uh, by giving descriptive name it defines the purpose now go to activities here and uh, right here that's where you're going to write the, the expression so go to the add uh, dynamic contents uh, and here uh, we are using p file so this is a parameter right so this parameter value and now we are providing that there and here we are going to start uh, adding the case statements so right now default so we have to set up that as well if anything we would like to as a, run as a default first of all i would like to add the case statement for our customer so i'm saying if uh, the value comes as a customer and then what you do, you're going to run this uh, customer part. Um, inside this uh, customer, maybe I will uh, just go for now and I'll say wait statement. So I'm uh, going to bring a wait activity and I'm going to call it uh, customer wait activity. Okay. So if uh, this uh, uh, our parameter value comes as a customer, then it's going to check the first case statement saying, oh, Okay, so there is a one uh, uh, value called the case. Then what I need to do, I need to go to this activity. Now, it's a, let's add the another uh, case statement, and we say if uh, the value is equal to product, and uh, if our let's say if I when I run my pack uh, uh, pipeline and I provide the uh, um, value to my parameter equal to the product, then you're gonna go and run this activity. So I'm gonna go here. And then I can configure this so in the product. I'm going to get the same weight statement. And uh, now I'm going to do uh, call it a product weight uh, activity. So you can keep adding all those different activities. And uh, now if I will go back here and say, OK, if a parameter value is not equal to the customer or not equal to product and then do something uh, on default maybe just delete the file i don't care about that right so click right here and now what you're going to do here i'm also you going to use the uh, wait activity here because uh, i don't want to set up a whole lot of other activities here so i'm going to say uh, on default delete file okay so i can have delete file activity here that can delete but for now for demo i just use the wait uh, activity here 
Now we have three conditions pretty much. One, if my parameter value equals to the customer, then you're gonna do run this activity what we have defined in the uh, customer uh, branch here. If uh, our uh, uh, parameter value comes equal to the product, then uh, we are gonna do this second part of it. So it's gonna go to the uh, product uh, activity right here. Okay, so you can keep adding, uh, uh, you know, a lot of them and it will help you to branch or use the same pipeline depending on the different uh, parameters. So in case, uh, instead of you have uh, three different pipelines, uh, then uh, for different files and all that, uh, here uh, you are merging uh, or maintaining uh, one pipeline for multiple files and depending on their file names, uh, you are branching it out on and running the only part that's uh, required or uh, uh, that's matching with your condition. So let's go ahead and de debug. First of all, if I will go and say customer, right? So if I will say customer, now what's gonna happen? The, it's gonna come to the switch, and once it come to the switch, it's gonna do one thing. It's gonna go ahead and take a look at like, oh, what is the, the parameter value uh, in the, uh, uh, what is the value in the parameter? So it is customer. Now, once it's evaluated and then find out uh, in the switch, it is gonna go to that activity. So see right there, it went to the customer wait activity. So you see right there, right? So if we click here, it completed. And if I double click, uh, go to the customer here, and you see that uh, this is also green. If I go back here, and if I go to the product or uh, anything, this did not run because the parameter value only matched with the our case statement right here. So it's gonna go to the only customer part right here, okay? So let's debug for another one. In case uh, here, I'm gonna do, um, let's do that. Uh, product and now what's gonna happen now it's gonna go to the product so, so the, the parameter value will be checked by the switch and then now it's a compare against the case statements and it'll say oh okay somebody provide the, uh, the value product in the parameter and according to the switch now I need to go to the product so right here so you are uh, uh, my switch demo, it ran, now it went to the product activity, see right there? So inside, uh, I have a wait activity inside that uh, product here, you could have a copy, you could have tons of other activities running uh, on this branch. Okay, so that's good. Now, if uh, somebody goes ahead and say, I don't wanna provide product to the customer or anything, uh, my test file. Okay, so in this case, uh, maybe you wanna, somebody comes like this, so you wanna delete that file and inside that, you have set up this default activity where uh, it goes and uh, use the de delete file activity and uh, then you can delete. But in my case, uh, I use only wait here. The wait activity is for the demo purpose. So we'll perform some uh, more real time scenarios, but uh, at least you understand uh, what exactly happening here. So now one more thing I wanna tell you here. So see, it went to the switch, it found out like, oh, uh, our uh, value what's provided in the parameter is not matching it with any of the cases such as customer or product now i'm going to go to the default so that's where it is it went and you can see right there it ran that okay did not run on any other activity here it did not run this part or the other part of Okay, so that works great. But uh, I wanna uh, give you one more hint to go to switch uh, and here go to activities. Uh, and right here, you guys see that uh, I'm using uh, this uh, parameter. Your parameter might be coming with the, uh, maybe, uh, from the trigger, right? So it's not gonna be exact to the customer name, you know? Sorry, customer file or product file, just in three words. There could be backslash, backslash, and all those kind of things, right? So like backslash, uh, um, my file path, uh, you know? and all that, right? And uh, then you have a uh, date time and uh, file name customer, and then you have date time .txt or something, right? So if that comes, uh, what you can you, you can, you can uh, use all these different functions uh, you have right here in the string functions and everything, and you can uh, only get the file name. So you don't have to get the entire, uh, you know, uh, name here. Once uh, you have this uh, value, you can write all these different functions at the end, uh, it will return you only this part. So then uh, this part will be compared against your case uh, statements uh, uh, right here. So uh, there, there is one, one thing I have noticed that one, like you have to write some uh, expressions here to get the part what you need and then that will be used right here. Also, case I noticed uh, one more thing. Let's do uh, one thing right here. 
So if I debug and uh, instead of product, I will say P capital and what happened now? So it is executing uh, now it is uh, in the my switch demo. Now what do you guys think? It is going to go to the product or it is going to go to the default? So that's a very interesting question. So you have to pay attention to it because uh, this is a case sensitive and uh, you see that uh, even uh, we have uh, this uh, settings on our switch it went to the default uh, file it should have gone to the product right but it did not uh, because we have a product all lowercase and uh, when uh, in parameter it came as a p came as a uh, cap uh, uppercase so the product uh, um, in this this part was a capital p right so it is a case sensitive just to let you know so in this case i was, I was that's what i was talking about like you have to have a, a mindset to how to tackle that so in this case let's say if I will do this, uh, so if I know that this can happen, so I'm going to go to the functions here. Let's try to find uh, two lower. And then now I bring this two lower, and inside that two lower, I will put my parameter. So what happened? Whatever comes with uppercase or lowercase, uh, I will always uh, make it small, uh, lowercase. And then that value will be compared against uh, my case the values right here. So now if I debug, uh, what's going to happen? If I'm going to go ahead and say product P capital, and uh, then uh, that's fine because once uh, this is going to go right there inside uh, it's uh, going to uh, convert everything to this lower case and then compare for our case statement so that's that's uh, you see right there this time uh, even with the p capital it is going to the correct uh, uh, branch so that's a customer branch uh, sorry product branch right here because see right there so this is executed so it is a case sensitive just make sure you don't uh, you know uh, write it and then uh, uh, struggle through and later on find it it is a you know uh, oh there was a it is case sensitive so you can write all those expressions that's very important so that's why i was saying you can grab uh, whatever you need from here you can make it up or lower or uh, just uh, get the part what you need from your parameter and then that will be compared against these values and then uh, your a specific uh, uh, activities will run according to the value that matches here in your case statement. So thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope you learned something out of this. Uh, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.